Hey everybody, Aaron Ocean here, and I am a man of my word. You see, a little while ago I put out a community post saying that I would do a Q&A video if I hit 2,000 subscribers, and it's happened. So thank you so much for the 2,000 subscri- what the? Hmm. When did that happen? Well, uh, thank you for the over 3.5 thousand subscribers as well as all the reception and the love that the Hollow Knight and Smash video has gotten. You guys really blew me out of the water, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Also, I've got some Smash Brothers Ultimate footage I got from Elite Smash. I'm just going to be putting that up in the background, just so you guys have something to watch. Hope you guys don't mind. So, without further ado, let's get this Q&A video started, shall we? Around how long did it take to make the Hollow Knight and Smash video, and how long does it usually take to make videos in general? So it really depends on how intensive the animation I'm doing is, as well as how much time I have to work on it. Uh, for example, something like Ultimately Sans is a pretty short video, and it also doesn't have any backgrounds, so it took me about a week since I had a lot of free time during that week to make it. Compare that with What of Hollow Knight was fully animated in Smash, that took me about 8 months to make, because I had to animate all the sprites and clean those up, as well as make the reveal trailer, and that took four months to make alone. I really wanted to include things like the victory animations, stage concept, other miscellaneous animations like shield animations and air dodges, but uh, realistically I didn't have time to do that, and if I did try to add all that stuff in, this video wouldn't be out until who knows into next year. Will you continue to animate more characters into Smash, or is your Hollow Knight in Smash video a one-off project? By the way, great animation style, keep up the good work. Thank you! Uh, I've always wanted to make a video like that, and I've been debating on and off for a few years whether that's the time I should make it, and I finally committed to making it, and I'm really happy. I'm super happy with how it turned out, actually, and I'm glad everybody liked it. But yes, I am planning on making more in the future. I have a couple ideas, and one of the characters that I have ideas for, I'm in development in terms of crafting their moveset, but it's still very, very early in the development process, so don't expect that video out for quite some time. How did you start animation? Well, I've been drawing and doing art stuff since as long as I can remember, but my parents got me Adobe Flash CS6 when I was about 15, and I've been self-taught for the most part. A lot of my early work is not pretty good, but I started taking animation and art a lot more seriously about a few years ago, and I can really see the improvement in my work since. I use Adobe Animate CC as of now, but I'm a firm believer that it's not about the software that you use that makes you a good animator. Now obviously certain programs offer more tools, but there are plenty of free and cheap programs and great resources out there if you want to learn and learn how to start animating. At this point I highly recommend Clip Studio Paint. It goes on sale pretty frequently, and I think the pro version comes with animation software, so uh, if you want a reliable animation software that's not buggy or super expensive, I'd go with that one. What's your most wanted character or characters for Smash? Also, how are you so good at animation? Well, first of all, thank you, I'm flattered. My most wanted character in Smash was Shovel Knight, but that dream was crushed in 2018. But, I mean, that's okay, because Shovel Knight's in Rivals of Ether, and I really love his moveset in that game, so I'm perfectly okay with that. Anyway, I think I'd really like Crash Bandicoot. Mario, Sonic, and Banjo are all in, but having Crash would feel like, you know, all the 3D platformer mascots you've got in the game. It just feels like it would fit. I'd also really like to see Bandana Waddle Dee get in the game. It's no secret that Sakurai is really biased on... Uh, what Kirby games are represented in Smash, and at this point, Bandana Waddle Dee kind of seems like part of the main group in the modern Kirby games, so seeing the three Kirby characters without Bandana Waddle Dee just feels kind of wrong, you know? Like, it feels like something's missing. As for the animation part of the question, I would really just recommend practicing and learning and being inspired by others. If you see something from a cartoon or an uh, anime that you watched that you really like, you know, just try to figure out why you liked it and learn from that and try to see if you can emulate it in some way. I know I'm definitely not perfect in animation. There's a lot I could learn. And so 
Uh, I'm frequently looking at other people's work and seeing like, oh wow, that's cool, I want to learn how to do that, or that person did that thing really well, and that's going to inspire me to try to attempt this on the next thing that I work on, so, uh, yeah. If the knight does get added to Smash, would you main him, or would you stick with your current main? I've been a Pikachu main since Smash 64, and honestly, I don't think that will ever change. Uh, but if by some miracle the knight does get into Smash, I will definitely play him a lot and add him to my roster of characters that I'm very comfortable with. What is your favorite game, slash what is your top 5 favorite games or franchises? Uh, so I can't really do a top 5 games list because there's too many games that I like. I like a lot of games. Uh, so I'm just gonna list some games that I really like instead. So, besides Smash Brothers and Hollow Knight, because, duh. Uh, some of my favorite games include Kid Icarus Uprising, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, Breath of the Wild, Doom 2016, A Hat in Time, Pokemon Heart Gold, Celeste, Undertale, uh, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. And if you think I have good taste in video games, like the video, and let me know what are your favorite video games in the comments. What are your favorite and least favorite parts of the Nintendo Switch? I have to say my favorite part of the Switch is the huge, vast indie library that's available on the Nintendo eShop. There's a lot of super hidden gems and a lot of really neat stuff that comes from indie game developers that just don't have the budget for AAA titles. And Nintendo does a really good job of supporting those developers and letting them have a platform to show off their stuff. And a lot of the time, some of the best games that I've played come from those indie developers because they really have to put their best foot forward to get their stuff shown out into the world. My least favorite things about the Nintendo Switch are tied between Joy-Con Drift and Nintendo's god-awful online service. Do you think Hollow Knight deserves more praise or less praise? Well, obviously more praise. This masterpiece of a game was made by three people who deeply care about their craft. Plus, it's an expansive Metroidvania with fluid controls and four DLC expansions for $15 retail price. That's crazy! I think Hollow Knight should at least cost $30, but if the lower price means that more people are willing to buy it and play it, I am 100% cool with it. I really think that everybody who is at least a fan of platformers or has played any type of Metroid game really should give this game a shot, because it's, it's really, really good. One of the best games I've ever played. What is your next video about? I'm actually working on an Among Us animation because the Hollow Knight video took so long that I never got to jump on that bandwagon. But it's gonna be good, I promise. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna be working on the next What If character was fully animated in Smash. I'm not gonna reveal who it is yet, because where's the fun in that? When you first started YouTube, how many subscribers did you plan on actually getting? Did you go into the platform as a hobby, or were you planning on growing your channel big enough to do YouTube full-time? I don't think anybody goes into YouTube expecting to gain a gigantic audience right out the gate. I mean, I had about 200 to 300 subscribers at the beginning of the year, and looking at where I am now, I'm still blown away at the amount of support this channel's gotten, so again, thank you guys so much. Unfortunately, with the way the YouTube algorithm is, I think it's pretty much impossible for a solo animator like myself to go into YouTube full-time. I've always been a person who cares about quality more than quantity of videos, but now that I have an actual audience waiting for videos, I'm gonna at least try to upload semi-regularly as an animator, so maybe once or twice a month. I can't really promise anything, but I'll try to hit that benchmark. If you do want to see the channel continue to grow, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the red button, and click the bell so you know exactly when my next video goes live. It costs zero dollars and zero cents to do so, so what are you waiting for? And you could always opt out if you end up hating my content for some reason. So at this point it's really a win-win. What is Chumby, and how can I get one? I'm glad you asked. You see, this is Chumby, and he's a great boy. And you can get them by subscribing to Aaron. And finally, for the last question, what is your favorite color? I like the color blue. And that's all the questions I've got. So thank you everybody who asked questions. 
And once again, I, I can't say it enough. Thank you everybody who's subscribed to the channel. Thanks everybody who's watched uh, not only the Hollow Knight video, but all the other videos I've put out, who's shared them, who's just given me just support in general. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope I can return the favor by making more good content for you guys. So once again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the red button. It would make me smile. Also, I have no idea how to end this video, so, uh, here's a picture of a llama. It's cool, right? I think he's pretty cool. Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.